Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 3 on partial ordering. In this lecture also we will discuss one more example which is a partial ordering relation. This is third example of partial order relation. Show that the inclusion relation is a partial ordering on the power set of a set capital S. Uh, we are already familiar with the power set of a given set. We know that if S is any set then power set of S is nothing but collection of all possible subsets of S and uh, we have to prove that inclusion relation is a partial ordering relation on the power set of a set S. So first we have to prove that that relation is uh, reflexive then we will prove that it is anti-symmetric and then we will prove that it is transitive. Uh, before that we can write down the notation for inclusion relation. Uh, inclusion relation notation is already given it is denoted by this symbol and uh, how it is defined. So inclusion relation is given by we are considering all those ordered pairs uh, the members of power set are subsets and this inclusion relation is defined on power set of S that means uh, we are considering a subset of Cartesian product of power set of S with itself so the elements here are ordered pairs of subsets of given set S so elements will look like this uh, we have ordered pairs of sets. We are considering ordered pairs AB in the Cartesian product of power set of S with itself and here condition is that first set say A is a subset of second set in the ordered pair. This is the definition of inclusion relation. Collection of ordered pairs of all those sets AB in power set of S such that first element or first set is a subset of second set. So first we prove that this relation is reflexive. So we have to prove that if we take any element or for any set A in the power set of S we have to prove that A is related to itself. So it is obvious that a is subset of itself. So this is clear. We know that every set is a subset of itself. This means ordered pair A comma A is in the inclusion relation. We can write in this way also or we can directly write from this that A is related to itself under this relation. Therefore uh, this relation we are using this notation here inclusion relation is reflexive relation if we are using capital R then we will write capital R but here I am using this inclusion relation notation so I have written that this inclusion relation is reflexive now for anti-symmetry we have to prove that if A is related to B that is if A subset B and B subset A then A and B must be equal and we know that if A subset B and B subset A then we must have A equal to B and it is true vice versa. This is the definition of equality of sets. Two sets are equal if and only if they are subsets of each other. So this relation is anti-symmetric also. So we can mention that if we take any two sets for any sets say capital A and capital B capital A and capital B in power set of S we know that A subset B and B subset A A subset B means A is related to B and B subset A means B is related to A 
this implies a and b must be equal this is by the definition of equality of sets by definition of equality of sets two sets are equal if and only if they are subsets of each other so this implies that in this relation inclusion relation is anti symmetric if a related to b and b related to a then a and b are equal therefore this relation is anti symmetric and for transitive we have to prove that if a related to b and b related to c then a related to c and for that we require three sets for any sets suppose we denote three sets by a b c in given set which is power set of s if a is related to b that is a subset b and b related to c that is b is subset of c then it is clear that a must be a subset of c if a is contained in b and b is contained in c then a is contained in capital c that means if a related to b and b related to c then a related to c therefore this is also trivial property we are already familiar with this property of sets if a related to b or a subset b and b subset c then it is clear that a is subset of c and this is true for any three sets a b c therefore this relation is transitive also so we have shown that this inclusion relation is reflexive anti symmetric and transitive therefore inclusion relation is a partial ordering or partial order relation on the power set of a set s or simply on p of s so this is another trivial example of a partial ordering relation if we take inclusion relation on the power set of any set capital s then that inclusion relation is also a partial order relation and if you recall if we have partial order relation uh, defined on a given set s then here our partial order relation is on the power set of s so on the power set of s we have inclusion relation which is a partial order relation so this pair this uh, set power set of s on which this inclusion relation is a partial ordering relation this pair is called partially ordered set partially ordered set means that set on which we have a partial order relation if r is a partial order relation on a set p then set p together with r is called partial order relation in short we can write po set so this capital p is a partially ordered set or po set if there is some partial order relation r on that set p here inclusion relation is a partial ordering on power set of s therefore power set of s is a partially ordered set so this is all about this session i hope you like it thanks for watching